Wow, loud crunching. First thing in the video. Thanks, Metal Pete. <laughs> um, so this is the first video of the night, and this is a fan I've been looking for for a long time. This is the first version of the Evergo Emperor, aka the Evergo Roma. It has a cast industrial motor in it with a 9 microfarad capacitor, so the same as like a 56-inch gold line. <clears throat> cast iron, not aluminum. I can't remember if I made that note or not. It's variable speed. Later ones had like a 4-speed click. I can't... I, I know... <clears throat> I had one before with a 4-speed click. I can't remember if the museum was 4-speed or... <clears throat> variable. <clears throat> and then the earliest ones had a reverse pull chain. Um... Whereas the later ones had a reverse switch. And this is, the, again, the earliest version with the reverse pull chain. These have a really steep, like a 20 degree blade pitch. Um, kind of like some uh, uh, banana fans from the same era where they were trying to go for uh, the opposite of their industrials where they were trying to go slower and a steeper blade pitch. <coughs> so I saw one, of, I saw well, two of these as a kid and I was absolutely fascinated with it. Mm. Um, there was a school that used to be a public school called Dudgeon that became a private school called Wingra. And I had a band in elementary school. And some of the kids in the band went to that school. And uh, it was it was uh, not that far from where I went to elementary school and middle school. Uh, I was kind of pretty much right down the street. And, uh, and our, our band would occasionally play their school. Because some of the kids went there. So when they had like a special event, we'd, we'd play. And um, <clears throat> it's one of the only elementary schools that I knew of in, uh, in, in this area with fans. Every classroom had two fans. And it seemed like every classroom had different fans. <clears throat> and they were all fans that you could just go to Kmart or Menards and buy. <clears throat> so lots of CECs, lots of Evergos, lots of SMCs. Uh, lots of help me out, metal Pete. What else did Menards and uh, and cons and cons? Um, what else did did like department stores sell in the code 80s? up? Code up. Yeah. <clears throat> and this was a pretty big school. Like this was, or, you know, three. Did they or... have any moss? Any mosses? Definitely CEC. Like I don't know if they were labeled moss. Like you know the CEC close mount. Yeah. Four blades and like a moss heirloom motor and then a big close mount canopy. Yeah. So they had a ton of those in classrooms. I just don't know if they were labeled moss or not. Okay. They're the same thing. I didn't. I don't remember seeing any with the actual moss canopy, but there might have been. I was never in every classroom, and uh, but yeah, every classroom had two fans, and usually the two fans in every classroom were the same, but every. Like not, but every classroom was different. Oh. And what it sounds like Robbie Lawrence's uh, church, the school portion. <clears throat> not quite as cool as that because right. that had like really nice quality fans. These were all cheap fans. Oh um, yeah, that's true. But uh, but cool cheap fans. And the yeah. and then the library had like a more had like a ton, like a dozen like G event things that were probably CEC. Oh. Um, the only room that did not have fans was the gymnasium. Oh. And, um, but yeah, I loved going to that school. And then there was one classroom that was on the, ah, uh, man, what side was that? Like, I'm, I'm bad at, like, that type of geography. I want to say it was on the east side, the east wing of the building. Mm -hmm. But the way the school was laid out was that <clears throat> the library was on the bottom floor and the gym was on the top floor on top of the library. And that was in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then on either side, there was a different wing of the school. And then behind it, there was a third wing of the school. So there were three wings surrounding the library and the gym. And it was three stories. And the gym was two stories. Library was one story. Mm. So uh, on the wing of the school that would have been, like, to the right of the gymnasium, there was one classroom that had two of these. Mm. And uh, I didn't know what they were because I didn't know ever go at the time. I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But I just, I'd never, I knew what an emperor was. And because I'd seen SMC Emperors in ads, and I eventually convinced my dad to buy one because mm -hmm. we had in our dining room for a while. Um, but I had never in my life seen an Emperor like this, and I was so like the blade tips, the the fact that the bottom where vents would be on a normal fan, it kind of has like they're not vents, but it's got like a design there. Um, the canopy was different, like everything about it was different than a normal Emperor, and I just I wanted one so bad. Um, so that's my story with these. You ever seen one of these before, Metal Pete? Uh, not this type, but I've seen emperors. Did you see Evergo emperors as a kid at all? Um, probably. I just can't remember. All emperors are kind of the same. They were at the time I was a kid, so... Yeah. I, I really like 
the, any any bell canopy version of the Evergo Emperor, including the flat bell canopy. I really like those. This I like, is kind of cool. This type. This is my favorite for sure. Yeah. And then I also really like Moss Emperors, like the Ooh, Moss Olympus. Yes. Um, it's just I have, a, I have a childhood story about those too. But let's start the video. Okay. And it's interesting. The name Emperor actually came from SMC. Is that all the way down on the variable speed? Yeah. Interesting. It's not set that low. Um, it's pretty fast. Yeah, because remember, high was drawing an amp. High was drawing, yeah. No, I know it's low. I just, uh, yeah. you know, Metal Pete would like uh, would adjust the low speed trim on this. Well, sure, you want a decent low, yeah. yeah. I mean, <clears throat> first you know I did it to my veranda. Yeah. 45 watts. And just over half a power factor. Yeah. Especially when you... Okay. Good luck getting in there. Yeah. The knob's missing. Yes, it is. And, uh... Yeah. You know what I did? I replaced my tie-up knobs with, uh... You can buy at Ace Hardware those little instrument uh, amplifier yeah. knobs. I had a whole drawer full of different knobs. I just don't know what happened to it. It might still be at my folks' house somewhere. Might be at the organ shop, but okay. I definitely got some spare knobs, but otherwise we can always put one on here. So you'll notice that this does not fly on high with blades on because the blades have such a steep pitch. If you took the blades They're off... They're rather heavy, too. That's true. I think it's the, ar the arms that are heavy. Yeah. But the blades themselves, I don't think are. But that's like a 20-degree blade pitch. It's still moving pretty good air. Oh, yeah. Um, But it, it's not like a 200 RPM on high the way some emperors would be some, you know. And again... If you put normal blade arms on this with a normal pitch, it would fly on high. Um, but yeah, it's drawn. Uh, it's it's got basically the same motor that a a, a point nine amp gold line would have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's drawing point nine. Hundred and seven watts. The power factor one. Yes, we'll call it that. Yeah, I um, I mean. If I was curious and I had more time, I'd swap the capacitor just to see because these capacitors did tend to fail, but yeah. it's low on my priority list. I don't want to bother with that tonight. Um, okay, well, it, you it would, spin down. Obviously, if it, did, if it was drifted, it would have drifted too far because it's still drawing 0.9 amps. Um, you can also see if it does differently in reverse. What kind of chips you got, Metal Pete? Mm. I'll throw you. Salt and vinegar. Those are good chips. Mm-hmm. My wife doesn't like salt and vinegar. She oh. doesn't understand the purpose. Okay. I still uh, have some uh, sandwich that I picked up earlier. I got to show you the sandwich place that I found. Well, there's actually two sandwich places that I found. One of them closes early, but it's very close to here, and it's very inexpensive, and it's good. Yeah. Other place doesn't close till midnight, and it's downtown, and it's good. So mm. next time that Any you're here... Any fans? No, oh. neither place. Both... Both of the places look like they've been around for decades. Yeah. So they clearly need fans. Like, they yeah. look like they should have vintage fans, but they don't have any. Oh. Don't forget to uh, reverse it. Yeah, reverse is a pull chain. Okay, so... I really like reverse pull chains, but they had to confuse so many Be homeowners. Oh, yeah. I guarantee there's people that still have reverse pull chain fans in their homes and have no idea... Okay, so it's drawing less current in reverse. Check it out. It was 0.65 the other way, and that's 0.56 this way. So. That's... By the way, it was Mark Wilson's birthday yesterday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mark yes, Wilson. Mark Wilson. For those who don't know him, I would say Mark Wilson might be the nicest fan collector. Metal Pete's a pretty nice guy, don't get me wrong. But oh. it's hard to find a nicer guy than Mark Wilson. Uh, you know Mark Wilson really well. Oh, be. yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. <clears throat> well, I had him at my place, though. So. Yeah. I think last year, maybe a year, a couple years, something like that. And I I took him to Stein Gardens and Gifts. That's a great place for a fan collector to visit. Yeah, I showed him, because the one on 27th Street has those brown new fans. Okay, 
I'll check it out. It's definitely not as... Interesting. I thought maybe it'd be more on reverse. I guess it shouldn't be. More than 0. 0.9. 0. 0.9 is already pretty up there. Yeah. And this is 0. 0.8, <clears throat> basically, yeah. in reverse. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. These, um, that's the downside to really most of the Union and Evergo stuff, is that um, it's... Like, it all has some things that make it less than practical in, in some ways. Like, it's mm -hmm. not all, like, none of them are, like, perfect. I mean, yeah. as much as I love Union Gold Lines. Oh, yeah. You know, they um, they don't run as well as the, late, as the later ones. And as much as I love Banana Fans, they don't run as well as Originals. And you get so on and so forth, you know? Sure. Now, we got the decade now. Where do you think it's going to start? Well, I think it's... I'll start at three. I'll go with four, then. Okay. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four. Ooh. No, you got five. No. Six. Interesting. Cause Maybe, the, I wonder if it's those bearings. It could be. They they didn't seem stiff, but they were a little noisy when we first got it. We right. oil it. And it, I mean, again, fans tend to run better... After they've been running for a while. So. Sure. Well, so yeah. do me a favor. Try again. Give it another try. All right. you know, sometimes it just needs a little uh, encouragement. Sure. Okay. Let's try it now. One. Two. I know, I feel like I see it, but I can't tell if I'm making it up in my head. Oh, I saw it budge. Okay, we both saw it. Three. Okay, try try one more time. Let's see if that's... Let's see which one's the fluke. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, here we go. One. Two. Three. So it seems like it would start on three and there's just a rough spot in the bearings. Ah, there it is. Oh. Yeah, it would have gone four. Nope, still not. Five. Gone. Six. So yeah, we need to um if we're gonna use it anywhere, we need to let it run for a while and maybe even oil it a little more. The bearings seem pretty smooth, but you know, this is how you find the rough spots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what she said, maybe. Ooh, shit. I oh. found some Kevin Tomoso fans. Mm. You're seven? Who is he? I'm... The guy that loves Sierras. Oh, yeah, him. Yeah. You're seven. And eight. <laughs> Where did it start? Six? Yeah. So right now... I mean, right now with eight, this is an okay low right here. This will work. I, I almost would have left it at six, honestly. Because mm -hmm. with this steeper pitch, you don't need a uh... fast speed. Yeah. Nine. Ten. And twelve. Okay. I'm almost thinking. 13, 14, 15, 16, <coughs> 17, 18, 19, and 20. Here's 20. Let's hit high and see. Still a ways. So ways, so I think I can get a good range of speeds with an eight twelve twenty. Yeah, you can. You know, I still get the range, range of speeds. So twenty, twenty one, twenty five, twenty seven, thirty. <coughs> 
Max out. Oh, I just went over a hair. Interesting. It's no real resonant frequency on this. Just maybe a tiny hair. Yeah. Sometimes it just does that. Nothing that'll hurt it. Okay, well, we already did the solid state. Yeah, it's Alan on the solid state. It sure is. So I'm going to do zero to high. I think you should do zero to high. Let's see. Okay. All right, not much of an inrush, like 0. 0.96, and it's backing down to 0. 0.93. So barely. Okay, well, we got several more fans to do, okay. so keep watching. Thanks for watching.